ja, ein bisschen Englisch muss sein, wir sind weltoffen, also ist so, ne? Ähm, okay. In the beginning, there was a man who wanted God to speak to him directly. And because he didn't understand his language, he became bitter and he said, If you refuse to speak to me, I will destroy your creation and I will show you that I don't need you. And if you don't speak to me, I will destroy your whole world and I will prove to you that you are not God. And if you do speak to me, you will come as a beggar and this will also prove that you are not God. This man was of small and weak physique and bitterness had made his face ugly and he needed strong arms and legs and beautiful faces to execute his will. The man behind Pharao knew how the mind worked. And he tricked and twisted the minds of the kings. He called himself messenger of God and he became his advisor. And he took over his mind and so he ruled over the minds of the people and he became the mind of the nation. The heart felt this deception and it disconnected from the mind. And the mind became weak and the heart was without protection and illness came into the world. The bitter ruled over the living and the dead and he created their thoughts and memories and he shaped their perception of the world and he grew to believe his own tricks. As they moved further and further away from source and down the path of death, The people became more confused, their ruler became weaker, and the man behind him became lazy, and he forgot how it all began. He forgot that all he wanted was to hear from God, and he forgot what it is he needs. This was the price the creator of memory paid. Without memory of the truth, the truth is not known. And truth is not with him who is without memory. When Pharao finds out that his advisor is lying to him, he will lose his head. And those who have been talking with God all along will see that this is their end. And they will see that the storyline they created is not part of the book. And the pages they wrote are erased from memory forever. And they will see that it is not them who place the life of the dead in the memory of the living, but it is the living who create the memory of the living forever. And this proves that truth is with God and he is the first and the last word forever. Mm.